So, did you hear the Braves are moving? Of course you did. I'm sure you've thought hard about how you will get to SunTrust Park. Well, guess what? So have we. From the day the move was announced, the Braves, along with our friends at the local and state level, have focused on getting fans to the ballpark in a safe and efficient manner. How will we do that? Well, glad you asked. To start, there's a serious amount of infrastructure investments either planned or underway in the Cumberland area, many of which began long before our announced move, like $2 billion in public infrastructure investments. Look at all these investments. That's a lot of investments. All to reduce congestion. These won't just help the 81 days the Braves have a home game, but also the other 284 days year round, which is nice. We picked a site with a ton of access. That means less congestion. Turner Field only has two main access points with 90% of the parking right in front of the stadium. At SunTrust Park, there are 14 main access points and the parking is spread 360 degrees around the ballpark, which means if you're coming from the north, you'll exit and park on the north side of the ballpark. As of today, there are more than 12,000 total parking spaces at SunTrust Park in the Battery, and more than 9,000 of those are dedicated for game day use. And we're continuing to add more as we near opening day. Plus, there are also 8,000 fewer seats than at Turner Field. That's more parking in a ballpark with fewer seats, which means a better parking spot and a better chance of getting a bobblehead on Chipper Jones night. Next, we're starting our games later, half hour later. That means 7.30. Look at this map. See all that red? That's traffic. Now look at it. Red's gone. 30 minutes makes a serious difference. We want to give fans a reason to come early and stay late, spreading out the amount of cars on the road at one time. That's the Battery Atlanta, which will have things that you would expect to do outside a ballpark. Places to eat, places to drink, places to hear some music before and after the game. Things that you don't have at Turner Field. To get you there, we'll partner with our friends at Major League Baseball to build an app that will integrate ticket buying, parking assignment, and navigation to your parking spot into one place. We'll also use things like adaptive signal timing on stoplights and digital message boards along the roadways to make your drive smoother. There's more ways to get to the ballpark than hopping in your car, and we have multiple alternatives. For pedestrians, there will be three new bridges that span interstates and highways. Those will go here, here, and here. These help get people from their parking spots and off the roads, making traffic move smoothly. Also, it's safer. There's Cobb Link, which runs all over the region and connects with MARTA in Midtown. Here's a map. This is Cobb Link. Then there's this new Cumberland Circulator. This connects the entire district. Here's another map. This blue line, that's the Cumberland Circulator. See, it takes you right in front of SunTrust Park. Finally, we will have designated rideshare drop-off and pickup locations, as well as a bike valet. Okay, so to recap, there's a significant infrastructure investment, $2 billion in the region. We're starting later. The games don't start till 7.30. You'll have better access, 14 points, 360 degrees around. More parking than Turner Field for a ballpark with 15% fewer seats. There's more to do. You can come early and stay late. The best technology, like one-stop apps. Alternative transportation, that connects Metro Atlanta. Questions? Go to bravesupdate.com.